are strap ready in the middle of your mat, coming onto your back to start. So tucking your shoulder blades down and then walking your feet out to the long edges of the mat, pigeon toe, the toes in, and then let the knees drop towards one another. And then tucking your chin in towards your chest, arms alongside your body, elbows extended, palms facing up. Softening your gaze and closing your eyes and taking a moment to pay attention to your breath. Notice as you breathe in how your body moves to accommodate the air. As you breathe out, feel yourself sink the weight of your body down into the earth and your knees towards one another. Breathing slowly and paying attention to how it feels. Feel the belly expand as you breathe in, the rib cage expand. And as you breathe out, feel the belly fall, the rib cage retract, the weight of your body getting heavier, and your feet, your sacrum, your arms, your head, your face. Feeling everything relax with each breath out. Taking a really long, deep, full breath in, maybe the biggest breath of the day. And when you feel it tight and restricted and full, just take one more breath in. And then exhale slowly out your nose or your mouth. Another one like that. slowly let it out. Return to your natural breath. See if you can relax your body a little more. And then dropping your knees over to the right. Inhale to lift them back up to center. Exhale the knees to the left. Inhale the knees up. And exhale down, following with your breath, sinking it in. center and then reach the legs up towards the ceiling and arms up rotating the ankles and the wrists around in one direction and then the other and then slowing the circles and point the toes and curl them and make a fist with your hands and curl them. Reach the toes up towards the ceiling. 
tighten through the quads to lift the kneecaps. Feel the stretch on the fronts of the legs, down maybe into the feet. And then feeling the pull on the back of the wrists and reaching the arms up towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulder blades down. Take a big breath here. toes towards the shin and reach the wrists or the hands back towards you. Press the heels up towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply. And then let your hands and feet float down to the floor. Extending the legs and then rocking the seat feet side to side. And then slowing that down, bringing the left knee into your chest, interlacing the fingers across the shin, pulling the left knee in towards you and then out towards the armpit. Pull the right toes towards the shin and press the right leg down into the mat. Anchor the right hip tucking the chin slightly, lengthening out the back of the neck, pulling that left knee in, breathing slowly, breathing into where you feel the compression or the stretch, where the muscles are working, and as you exhale, feel yourself sink, feel yourself get heavy in your pelvis, in your shoulders, in your head.
one more breath. And then leaving the right foot in the strap, bringing the left foot down onto the ground with knees bent. And then draw the right leg over to the left slightly while you're still holding the weight down to the right hip. Feeling the stretch maybe down on the IT band. Maybe it's a different part of the calf, behind the knee, hamstring. Noticing where you feel it. Find the juicy edge where you can relax into it, relax the hip. Don't push too far. Keep pulling the toes towards you, pressing the heel away, lifting the kneecap, engaging the quad. Keep your mind on your body and your breath. Notice where the tension is. Try to relax yourself into the pose. It can be quite intense, so making sure that you're finding your edge and not pushing too far. If you push into pain, then the muscles will tighten up to guard and protect. So you want to find that edge where you can sink into it, breathe into it. One more breath here. And then bring the right foot back up to the ceiling. Bring the left foot up to match it. Switch the strap into the left. Let the right foot come down off the mat. Knee bend. Pulling the left toes towards the shin. Reaching the heel away. Engaging through the left quad. Lifting up the kneecap and then drawing your foot over to the right hand side. You might not go very far. My left side is way tighter, so I barely moved, maybe an inch. So feeling the weight of your pelvis sink down into the mat. Feel your shoulders relax, your face relax. Engage the quad, lift the heel up, pull the toe towards you and sink Breathe out to allow yourself to relax more. When you breathe in, breathe in to where you feel the pull, the tightness, the tension. Keep relaxing in the pelvis. Keep scanning through those areas and checking and seeing if you're holding on, if you're engaging and letting go. the shins, rocking side to side. Slow in the rocking, releasing the feet down to the mat, knees bent, feet hip width distance apart, coming into a little bridge, tucking the shoulders under, elbows cuffed in tight, elbows at a 90 degree angle, palms facing each other, robot arms, and then lifting the pelvis up towards the ceiling, squeezing the glutes, tucking the shoulders under, pressing the arms down into the mat, pressing the weight evenly across all four corners of your feet. Feel like there's a little strings attached to your bony parts of your pelvis. They're being pulled up towards the ceiling, opening up through the quads and the hip flexors, getting some extension into the back. You can stay here, you can interlace your hands underneath your back if you want to open up through the chest, arms on the ground, elbows extended, breathing here. Keep 
focusing your mind on your body, on your breath, in the present moment. Keep your knees parallel with your thighs. Inhale, come up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, relax down. Inhale, up onto your tippy toes. Exhale, relax down. One more. And release your hands at the lace, coming into robot arms. Taking a big breath in, and then as you exhale, slowly unroll the spine, one vertebrae at a time, tailbone coming down last. And then coming into your final savasana, either extending your legs, your knees, letting your feet flop out to the sides, or bringing the soles of the feet together into a reclined cobbler. Soles of the feet close to the groin, opening up through the adductors. Elbows extended, palms facing up, shoulders tucked down the back, chin tucked towards the, the milk, the throat, lengthening the back, the neck. Softening your gaze, closing your eyes, allowing your body to integrate all the work that you've just done. See if you can relax through your face, your jaw, shoulders, arms, hands, back, glutes, legs, and feet. Feel the weight of your body being supported by the surface below you. Namaste.